Want to see your daddy? Huh? Your daddy? Okay, here we go. You ready? Go ahead. Jesus on three. One, two, three. Jesus! Woo! Yes! One, two, three. Jesus! Woo! Jesus! Woo! Jesus! That's what I'm talking about. Great job. Thank y'all. Good luck. That's it. Good job. Thank you. Good. 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 A bigger boat. It's part of the great design. Part of the great design. How y'all done? <clears throat> All right, look. I found the State Cook Off Association. And I, I'm just, I'm, this is, this thing is extremely cool. And uh, we don't have a lot of contests down in South Louisiana, but uh, hopefully that's going to change because I judged steaks yesterday. Man, it was a blast. I mean, it's fun, a total classy organization from start to finish. Um, the way they judge and, and give feedback to cooks is phenomenal. So I just want to introduce State Cook-Offs Association to you and uh, see if we can't get this thing rolling throughout Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Hey, I'm Brett Galloway with the State Cook-Off Association. We started this deal two years ago, and I was a competitive cooker, so I came about this as a cooker when we started. First of all, it has to be fair for the cookers. It had to be fair for the promoters. But what we did is we created a deal. You come out one-day event. You get there between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock, set up your deal. 10 o'clock cooks, meaning we have a real cool deal. We set up steaks on a table. A whole table full of steaks. You draw poker chips, you come by, and bam, you pick out your steak huge mental advantage. I got a great steak today. I'm going to win. Or, you know, ah, I didn't get a great one. But mentally, you think you got the best steak most of the time there. So the guys love that. And then 1 o'clock, we usually do a side category, which is uh, we'll do burgers, we'll do wings, we'll do uh, appetizers at 1 o'clock. And then it's 3 o'clock steak. And then at 5 o'clock, 4.30 or 5, we'll do our awards. So what it is is a one-day event. Our divorce rate's lower. <laughs> These guys come out. They have a great time. There's a lot more time for interaction with the public because the guys are really you got a 20 minute crunch time for steaks. So there's a lot of it, a lot of time just to socialize. People like that aspect of steak cook off. There's a lot of fundraising opportunities that we also do with them, you know, to raise money. People sell steak dinners, they sell appetizer bands, certain markets you can do things like that. But it's really growing fast. We're up to about 50 events this year and hoping for more next year. Um, got guys drive from this event here we've got guys from seven states here that came and competed so it's catching on we'd love to have you guys part of it someday thank you hey bedford we got the uh bedford texas bama playing wisconsin tonight right over there and uh doing people's choice right now just got done judging steaks state cook-off association <laughs> is that fun or what Amazing steaks I got to sample. Uh, 18 or 20 of them, they were great. Um, anyways, people's choice. Having fun, barbecuing. Gonna get ready to do some Q tomorrow. And see, on this on his people's choice deal, I'm telling you, some of these guys go to town. Like, look at these guys. They got the they got the plates are serving them. Looking for the they got the drinks over there. They got the cheering squad. How you doing? That's it. They got they got the menu, the chalkboard menu. They got the tunes going. I'm telling you. Boys, take it. And they're from Florida. They're not from Texas. But look, they're trying to show these. We're from Florida. Now we live in Texas. Oh, there you go. Now you're Texas. All right. Oh, now these now, now these guys these guys got a live band going. about people.
people's choice here. Serious. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Man, beautiful morning here in Bedford, Texas, Fort Worth, Dallas. Just looking at the pit, right at 250 exactly. Just been chugging along like a like a machine, and uh, everything's going great barbecue-wise for sure, for sure. And uh, loving this cook-off. Um, it's just these people do a do a great job as a community. I mean, it's a blues festival and bands and people and vendors and people's choice and just all kinds of things rocking and rolling uh, amazing amazing event and uh, it's gonna be cool this morning at Cook's Church we're gonna have uh, Mike Huffman come and uh, share what God's put on his heart to share with the guys and gals and uh, yesterday got a chance to uh, judge the steak cook off and taste an 18 phenomenal steaks it's just incredible what a fun fun format for competition cooking that is and I can't wait to get involved and cook them and you know get some over there into South Louisiana Mississippi Alabama and uh, just have a great time F family friendly just you know one day deal go cook you know have fun and uh, get out of there so it's uh, really looking forward to seeing what, what happens there and uh, glory to God hey when I was uh when I was driving up, God gave me uh, God gave me a word that was just. I mean, I, as soon as He gave it to me, I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> that is good stuff, man!" I mean, phenomenal stuff. He uh, he's so faithful, so cool. How he makes sure that we uh, we get the point he needs us to get. And here's what I was thinking: driving along, listening to K Love Christian music, just praying, worshiping God, and I started thinking about um, leaving a mark you know on this world my daughter had sent me a, a birthday card last year or this year and and it was actually a graduation card that she scratched out and made into a birthday card and, uh, basically said that you know she's proud of me because I'm gonna make a difference in this world I mean that and that majorly touched my heart and uh, so I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about the fact that, that all of us are going to leave a mark, some kind of mark. And I started thinking about that, and you know how, like, uh, people have, people talk about, you know, on gravestones, you got the day you were born, then the dash, and then the day that you die. So it's, it's all about the dash, right? It's all about what happens in between. And I started thinking about that, and, 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 and God just showed me, he said, Jeff, that's, that dash is like a like a signature line on a contract you know a signature line that's going to be signed you got the born and die and then you got this line in the middle and uh, it's going to be signed by one of two people there's only two people that can sign it it's either Jesus or Satan you can't have half Jesus signature half Satan you can't have 98 percent Jesus 2 percent Satan it's a one entity signature line one line uh, that's going to be signed by either Jesus um, or Satan and uh, you know it's, it's kind of cool because it's like okay well you know so then do you that's your uh, those are your papers that you take to heaven and and uh, if you have the right signature on there you stay and if you don't well then you don't stay and uh, God wants all of us to stay but you know I was just thinking about that, how cool it is, because, you know, the signature line and signatures, notarized signatures, it's like, that that stops, starts, creates, destroys tons of stuff. I mean, it's, you know, laws aren't enacted until the governor or the president, you know, sign the bill on the signature line, and, and marriages are, are, you know, sig are signed, and contracts are signed, and death certificates are signed, and... You know, homes are signed, and transfers are signed, and military orders are signed, and you know, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of like on and on and on and on and on. That 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 signature line is so critically important and so very cool in that it 
really signifies that whoever's signing it is testifying that what's on that document um, they stand behind, they agree to, and, and, and their intent is to fulfill it. And when Jesus' name is on our signature line, he's taking ownership of us and he's saying, this is one of mine. And I own this, I own this person, I own this life, and this life is mine because they have given their life to me. And what a cool concept, what a cool way to look at it. And, uh, and I just thank God for that. I thank God for barbecue. I thank God for a great wife and Bubke and our babies at home and uh, my daughter Paige and, and just all the friends that we have out here and just the great sport of pro barbecue. And, you know, it's all about sowing seeds. It's all about, you know, telling people about Jesus in different settings. And that's what I love about Cook's Church. It's what I love about the ministry God's given me is that you know, our job, all of us, uh, every one of us, our job is to tell people about Jesus, whether we like it or not. If we're a child of God, if we're surrendered and born again, headed to heaven, Jesus is on that signature line. Our job, our commandment, our orders are to tell people about Jesus. So if you haven't surrendered your life to Jesus, if, if, if you're not completely confident that Jesus would sign that line in between the day you but you're born and die if you're not completely confident about that you need to be and the way that you get to that spot is by surrendering your whole heart to Jesus Christ surrender your life surrender give it to God give it to God hey it's a great name for a barbecue team what are you waiting for let's go praise the Lord hallelujah let's do some barbecue God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you, God bless you. thanks for listening by the way <laughs> God bless you Give it to God. <laughs>